In this next part, we're going to add some annotations to our Pottery page. Uh, so let's head over into a web browser and I'll show you some examples of, uh, of annotations. So uh, in, our, in our test page that we created in the, last, um, in the last bit, there's one annotation. And if, we, and if we zoom into the church itself, you can see that annotation is always facing us and we rotate it around, you can always see it. And then the other thing that it does is has a little pop-up that has some information. And we can click on it, and it will take us to a prescribed view. So those are the, the main things. And there are some, uh, some extensions to that as well. If you go to, um, in the example files, there is an example uh, file called annotations.html, and you can see some, some other examples. You can see in here, it shows an example of an annotation that launches a new web page. And apparently closes out the old one. It can change the, uh, it can do things to our point cloud. So we, there are annotations that allow us to change the color scheme of our point cloud. And we can change different to different gradient schemes. So the, uh, the annotations can affect things in the, uh, in the page and they can link. And there's other things too. Um, uh, the way we've used them, the, the probably the page that has the most annotations is uh, is from an, uh, a site called Innocenti. And here we can see there are, uh, this is one that the, that the Florence group made. Here are two um, documents that you can link to. If you, if you hover over it, it will, it will give you a, um, a, an overview of this document. If you click the the um, uh, the link, it will open that document in a new tab. Here's a here's a, a um, an annotation that will take you to a prescribed view, and will link out to a Sketchfab model of that of that embedded point cloud or that embedded mesh model. So um, they're pretty useful, and um, here's one that, uh, that brings up a pop-up window with an image, and will take you to a view of, that, of, of where that image sits. So let's take a look at how to put, how to put those in. We're going to open up this page in uh, in a text editor. So I'm going to a file explorer. I'm going to find the file we worked on last time, sample Joto. And um, I'm going to right click and choose open with Visual Studio. And it'll bring up our file. Get the line endings warning. I'm going to click no. And in here, now before we get going, there's something that I forgot to do in the last video that I'm going to, um, that I'm going to fix. If I go back to our Pottery Viewer and open up the, um, the sidebar, you can see that there's a way to turn on and off elements like annotations and um, uh, mesh models. So. But you see they're both labeled Tadaldi Tomb. That's because we used the Tadaldi Tomb to make the, the second one. So you can see that if I click this one, that's our um, Giotto Altar, and there's the tomb. So we need to change that text. So let's hop over into here, and that text is in the second mesh model, you see OBJ object starts here this is our second one and down here it's it's saying this is where we add objects to the add entries to the object list in the sidebar and so 
this is our second one and it still says to Daldi Tomb. If I change this to read uh, Chato Alter, then hit Control S, go back here, refresh. Use the annotation to zoom into the church. Now we can um, look at our model, and you'll see that it now says Tadaldi Tomb and Chateau Altar. So we can turn that on and off. All right, that was just a, uh, something that we forgot to do in the last video. Um, all right. Now we want to make a another label like this over here. So we can um, uh, put some information about the altar, maybe have a link to some more information about it. Uh, so let's go back and look at the code. And at the bottom, there's a, a section called annotations. And you can see this is, this right here is a single annotation. And this is the this is the description text that goes in the pop-up. This is the the camera position and target that um, shows us where where the camera should look when we click it. Uh, and this is the title that is always um, on. So uh, let's make a copy of this. I'm just going to go down a couple lines and put another one in. And this title is going to be called Alter, uh, Jato Alter. And then uh, now we have to figure out what do we want the camera position and the um, and the position of the uh, of the actual tag to be. So I have to go back into here, um, and again we use the the um, the point measurement uh, icon to um, to figure out where this is going to be. So let's say we want to put this um, right let's say we want to put it right there next to the uh, next to the altar. Uh, now if I go down to our properties for that point, we can see them right here, and I can just click this icon to copy them. And I'm going to then go Alt-Tab, get back here. So now this is the position of the item. So we, we say, uh, we'll paste this here. Now that um, this new annotation will be right where that point is. But we also want to change the camera position and target. And we, and we do that by just finding a view that we like that is where we want to view this from. So let's say we want um, let's say we want to look at it right there. So we're so it's centered in our frame of view and maybe just tilt it up a little bit. Okay. So when I do that, I can click uh, on the sidebar, click the camera and it will show me down here what the position and target is of that of that camera view that we're looking at right now. So I click copy for the position, go back to um, go back to the text editor and put the camera position in here. Go back and and see this target, copy the target, go over here and paste camera target. Okay, and then let's save this. Refresh this page. Now you see we have two two annotations. Now these annotations can get kind of irritating, so you can um, they can be turned off in this sidebar. 
and programmatically you can turn them off um, and and only allow and only have them show up when the user turns them on. So when I when I zoom in, actually I don't even need to zoom in. See the where it says uh, Joto Alter, we can click that. And it takes us right to that view that we that we set up. So, uh, and then there's also some text here that we would need to fill in. We can put so this this um, this text that is here can be any HTML text. So this can contain um, it can contain images. It can contain um, links. Any sort of um, embeddable content you can put you can put in there, and you would do that by going back. To Visual Studio and and putting HTML in this in this little area here, and so what's between the quotes is what is the code that will go in. So this doesn't show up as a as a as a um, uh, it, this formatting doesn't show up until it's actually in an, in a, in a page. So whatever we put in here will uh, will work. So this is where you could put a link to something else. So that's how to make a basic uh, annotation with uh, with a title and some pop-up text. Uh, for more complicated um, for more complicated annotation types, you can check out some of the uh, some of the pages that are already created on our site, or you can check out the examples files uh, in the in the Pottery examples. So that's it for this, and we'll I'll have some more tutorials coming soon. Thanks for watching.